Welcome to Stormworks Build and Rescue. This is the second vehicle showcase, and my name's David, and I'm joined by Dan. Hello. Hello. Uh, what are we going to look at today, Dan? Well, this is one of my favourites, so we're going to look at some boats. Okay, um, excellent. This, and this is one of my favourites from the workshop. It's by Dubious, and it's basically red speed boat. Nice, very flashy. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's good. I quite like this one because straight up, he's like really well considered, like getting out of the water. It's because you can just step up onto here and you're kind of like... A nice little ledge. Straight out of the water. And then um, makes it a lot easier to get in and out. A lot of capacity here, but it's also uh, very fast. So it's got five engines. So <laughs> to, to start the boat, we've got to... Turn on each individual engine. Well, no, no. It's, it's, some of them are grouped up. Some of them are grouped up. But right. uh, then... Hopefully, I'm not sure what the controls are. Oh, yes. So, also, it's a hard mode, um, hardcore mode vehicle. Oh, right. So, we actually uh, are we playing in casual mode right We're now? We're playing casual mode. Right. So, we need to actually uh, hook the logic up. Exactly. Exactly. So, actually, if you, you load this up in casual mode and then hook it up and save it, it will, will then work in both casual and hardcore. Okay. But it's not been. All right. So, we've got a new version of the boat and we've hooked up the uh, logic. So we can just Pop jump straight into, into it. No, nope, missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on all these engines. Turn on all these engines, and we're off. So it's pretty fast, and that's with the old water, because we're playing version 0.23 at the moment. So in the in the new version, the water will look uh, a little bit different. It will. It will. Be so, exactly. But then this one's... So it, I, think, I think generally boats are a bit faster in the water anyway now in the new version, but they're also more stable because the, the water physics are a bit more realistic. Okay, so this so will actually be zipping along a little bit faster. It will, and be skimming across the waves as well, but so it'll be a little bit like a go-fast boat or something. But um, no, I think this is a fantastic design just for, for playing the career mode because you've got three spare seats, you've got loads of cargo area, it's very fast, you'll, you'll travel across the map very quickly. And it's it's quite a good size as well. It's not too small. Um, that it really will struggle in the big waves. So let's uh, turn on some drastic wind. There we go. And let's see how it handles some tough waves. So so the the big waves again. This is the their boats will behave differently now anyway because this is the old version. But you can see um, it's actually it's, it's fairly stable going going into the waves. They won't jump out as far now. I don't think. <laughs> The way it's kind of handling the waves, I mean, it's, it's coming out of the water quite drastically, but I mean, you're kind of relatively just about holding it together, maybe, yeah, maybe now. <laughs> I, know, I almost rolled it then, but oh no, hang on. Oh, oh no, no, you've proper. No, 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 no we've, I've brought it back. <laughs> I think um, it's got little um, fins on the back as well to help you control it. See the, uh, the fins at the back, I don't know whether they twist when you steer. No, it doesn't look like they do, it looks like they're just for stabilising it at speed. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's, that's so the boat by Dubious. All right, should we go back and take a look at another one? Okay, so what shall we look at next? I think by the same guy. Okay, the outboard rib. So this has got an actual outboard motor. So it's uh, it's on a little hinge. Oh wow! There. So it actually looks like a little dinghy type thing, but a little but bit more advanced. The engine actually rotates side to side. Oh, wow. so, okay. so you've got no rudder. Instead, the the propeller rotates from side to side, and it will kind of like push you side to side. So it'll only steer when you're applying the power and so on. I always just miss the jump. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's get the engine on. Turn definitely turn the lights on, and then we've got pitch Jump's for the down. pitch for the engine. And again, it's quite a nippy little boat, but I think the, the thing I like the most is how it steers. Ooh, okay. Like it's. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've rolled but you, it already. You can, you can see that, that that's the uh, the the way you're kind of steering there. So a little, maybe a little bit tricky to get your head around initially, but exactly. it certainly makes sense. And especially in this version of the game, it, it was a particularly effective way of of, of uh, creating a vehicle that was that steered a little bit sharper I think mm. generally with the new water physics the um, steering is a lot sharper now but yeah it's a nice uh, nice little boat you can also I think adjust the the pitch of the engine okay and you've got to be really gentle with the steering <laughs> <laughs> but no dog no, I find this design very interesting so that's uh, very cool should we head back again yeah and we've got our little boat graveyard. 
we'll go with, with increasingly large boats so okay. we, can, uh, we can plow through them right so what should we have a look at next we've got all the helicopters here from last time we don't want to look at those mm-hmm. Tuggerino <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember who did this one. We'll, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll name them. We'll have a little, uh, the, yeah, little, we'll, little title we'll, saying who made this. Exactly. So whoever made Tuggerino, your, <laughs> your, your, it's, your, it's your time to shine. But yeah, brilliant, brilliant paint job. It's got to go faster stripes. <laughs> so let's, uh, have, let's take a quick look at the logic. I want to see what's kind of going on uh, right here. Okay, so quite a lot of advanced stuff. So we seem to have... Is that four engines? Oh no, there's. I think it's four engines and a fifth jet engine. Oh wow! Uh, powering a ridiculous number of propellers, and then we've also got side propellers here, which, um, oops, sorry, I've turned upside down, uh, which must be for steering. Mm. So that's pretty cool. We've got loads of connectors all over the place. Big kind of control suite up at the top, and then back here, this looks like more kind of connector, another connector rig, but a lot of a lot of repellers. So interestingly, um, lots of repellers like this don't actually make the vehicle go faster, um, depending on if you've got enough engines or not. So you've got to have a, an engine propeller balance. We'll uh, we'll we'll see. I can I can jump onto this one. Oh, nice, yes, I made it right. Okay, so, so got that okay, so these are our engines and a big jet engine in the middle That's there. Pretty cool. Which, which every boat needs, of course. This is crazy. All right then. So are we actually backwards? Oh, fantastic! Look, it's got throttle oh, control. Look at that nice labelling ignition. Yeah, I love it. It's got the buttons on the ceiling. Turbo, turbo fan. Hmm. Let's definitely turn that on. That's so you can see a lot of propellers pulling us backwards. That's great. Wow. Yeah. I don't. I see. It's it's got a really low centre of mass as well. Most of the boat is in the water. Yeah. So that's a lot of, I guess, kind of traction. I think it's kind of keeping it's all, very, those, very all stable. those propellers underwater as well. So now reversing, I uh, don't want to go forward. So dare I imagine how fast I'm kind of, I think I might, might just want to turn that off just to start with. Get the throttle relaxed, then maybe we'll just turn it off. And, 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 and kick this into overdrive. Yeah. Nice it's, little. It's, it's, it's got some good pace going. It's yeah. got some good pace. It's got covered in, in uh, connectors. All right, now let's, let's, let's make this go crazy. Get the lights on. Okay. Um, okay, now this turbo fan. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Oh my god. And then we're self writing. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. So maybe that was a bit too high on the throttle. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to do some tricks, and this is this is a boat for you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But actually, I think so. This has been designed for a couple of the career missions, I would guess. Mm-hmm. It's because um, there's some some career missions where you do have to do like some heavy towing and some uh, heavy lifting. This has got that looks, sheer power for it. Yeah, it looks I, I can see, very, you can see very the magnet well right on, the, for that on the back of the. Yeah, right the back of the quite a high positioned magnet as well. So, I think if you've played the career mode, you'll you'll probably know which which mission that's for. And so we're going with the waves, and most boats are pretty stable going with the waves. Yeah, he sees he's holding to the waves, he's lifting up a bit a bit too much there, and obviously he's a bit heavy. But we'll turn him into the waves. If I can do it without rolling it, I've, I've messed that up. <laughs> <laughs> I've messed it up. So oh. yeah, now we're fully... Okay, so yeah, he, he could not turn during a wave, <laughs> which I suppose is... I suppose that would be a hard job for any... Any boat. Yes, we've got to check out HMS Seaworth. Uh, right? HMS Seaworth. Okay, let's yeah, let's load this it up. Sounds like it might be named after a real boat. I'm not sure. Do you think? Do you think it has? Yeah, it sounds Seaworth like Seaworth could be a, definitely be a real boat, couldn't it? It looks like a pretty looks pretty real. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is a, a pretty cool boat. We've got a big winch on the back. I'm guessing that. Yeah, you see, that's not that's not too bad. We've got a lot of lights. I think these are lights here. Yeah. We've got a couple of connectors around, and we've got the winch at the back. Um, and then otherwise it just looks like a pretty solid boat, it's got a lot of uh, control on the back, it's got a lot of rudders, and it's got two colossal diesel engines oh, in awesome. the centre. So let's... A lot of power to move a lot of boat. Exactly, quite high up. Oh, I've, left the, I've left the waves on so he's, oh. <laughs> he's heading <laughs> out to see, away from see me. slowly. So here it is, the HMS Seaworth. Alright. Oh, so, can you jump on while it's in the waves? Okay. 
now. Oh, I awesome. Did I did it. All right, so straight into the... I don't know what's this, the bridge. We've got like, I see this is something I quite like, is um, it's kind of like a pretend engine or something, or like, okay, uh, it's like it's some ducking and stuff. Just for show, but yeah. built it with blocks. It looks like quite quite cool. I quite like that. And we've got, the real we've got some gauges uh, here. Down, downstairs. Exactly. I'm not sure what these gauges do, but um, they have been placed on. But I have these lights on. Oh, yeah, of course. Definitely. There we go. Nice, very nice. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's give this a go. So it's linked onto the... WASD controls. It's got some good pipe pace, but um, so it's just two propellers, one on each engine, I expect. And uh, that's pretty fast for such a large boat. So we've, we've taken out in the big waves, but this is handling the big waves absolutely very well. No problem. Absolutely no problem. It's like the right size for for this kind of like for, for the worst kind of weather, really. Yeah. Because this is this is wind on full. So this is the, the full power waves. Now we're still quite close to the island there. Yeah. And as we move out, but no, it's go, handling it. It's handling this weather perfectly. I think some. I think the uh, the outboard is about to get crushed. See you later, no, buddy. He, yeah, he dodged it. Um, <laughs> this is lifting out a bit far there, and again, the the new water physics will behave a bit differently to I this. Like, uh, I like that sort of like slow I'm down quite, when I hit that wave. I'm as quite well. excited to see these these. Um, this, this kind of content get updated for for the new water physics. Not too bad at turning, and we've, I've managed to do it without rolling it this time. By no, bit, oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, hang on, actually, look at this. He's um, no, it's, is he going to write himself? I think I think that might just write itself. It's it's a pretty good hull hull shape, and I think that is just rolling itself back up. Look at that. HMS Seaworth is extremely seaworthy. <laughs> Stop my joke! <laughs> <laughs> You're being too slow. You take it too long. <laughs> I believe this is the container ship. That's the one. So, um, yes, so this is this is a, a huge monstrosity. As you can see, it basically fills up the uh, the grid there. It and, is um, absolutely colossal. Yeah, and uh, you may notice like, uh, this this might. Make the frame rate go a little bit slower than what we're, we're used to, <laughs> but um, well, we shall that, see. That's just because the, the sheer size of the thing is is just astronomical. I think I'll take a, a few seconds just to load it into game. I'll give it that, but it is basically the full size of the edit grid. So <laughs> there's there's very little space in, in fact, always, so little I space. Always, I always just love that sort of that that pop in <laughs> within with this vehicle. I don't know, but ah, it's just colossal. Like a pretty big crane, which is bigger than most vehicles I make, just sat in the middle of it. <laughs> the bridge is just huge, right? Let's see if we can get it out of the dock because yeah, it's, it's obviously looks like I think it's got last stuck time, straight away. Yeah, last time we tried this, it did. It just got stuck trying to get out of the dock just so, because uh, it's so wide. If you just so, look to the right, just so down onto right. the cargo deck, um, you can see that there's like. Sort of a, a connectors there. Those are kind of magnetic connectors for actual cargo um, containers, right? Exactly. So yeah. um, the author of this boat has also made a series of, of branded containers, um, and they've got opening doors, and they've also got connectors on the top and bottom, so you can stack them up on the boat. So you could potentially um, load quite this a few up. like kind of stacked up high. Exactly. Exactly. So. Um, I kind of want to do it. I don't know, maybe that's a bit beyond the scope of the video. Have you thought about we'll making some connectors Euro and shipping that. simulator? I, well, I don't need to. We've, we've made it. We've, <laughs> we've made it. We've made it. <laughs> it's done. You should build a whole set of missions about it. You've got to move all these sardines to, <laughs> to Amsterdam. Before they go off. Yeah. <laughs> you got a time limit, a very strict time limit. Okay. Now, the lights on this are sweet. Sorry, I forgot to change the lighting, didn't I? There we go. There we we're, go. In, we're in daytime mode. Right, let's see if we can get out of here. Right, so we've got the ignition turned on. Oh, oh, is he going to go? Oh, just about. So you can barely you see, see out the top. He tried to get stuck twice there, but yeah. he did just kind of like loosen his seat. Okay, we, we, are, we are free. Look at this, it's like, it's like a majesty of the sea, isn't it? it this is so big. That's it's the only way to describe it is that it says it's absolutely colossal. huge. I mean, we're heading towards the other very large boat that we, we spawned earlier, 
I mean, this is to the limits of the edit grid size. I mean, look at the look at the size difference here. Just c crash into it, destroy it. Uh, it's like a. <laughs> I feel like I'm uh, I'm playing what's that game? Is it? Uh, God, I, don't know, is it? I can't remember. Oh, yes. Look at that, just right. trouncing it's your previous Absolutely video, nothing. No. <laughs> Eating it for breakfast. Oh, oh my god. It's so big. Take that C worthy. Yeah, C about. <laughs> that's it. Instant at C. Alright, I think that's. Uh, I don't think we can get any better than that. Almost. But, almost oh, let's, almost let's done. I've just got to test Turn the rain up as well. That's a. Uh, A little bit of fog too, maybe. Yeah, okay. look at that. So it's actually during the day at the moment, I think. Let's have a look at what time it is. Yeah, so it's about four in the afternoon, but the weather is so bad that it's, uh, it's really dark. It's almost like um, in the middle of a, a storm. It's absolutely unaffected by the weather. <laughs> this is a truly seaworthy vehicle. The, the propellers have lifted out. He's actually stopped delivering power. A crane is swinging all over the place. And it is, yeah. It is. So it's it, it, it could swing all the way around and smash you in the bridge. I think it, it needs some kind of uh, brake block connector or something just to kind of fix it in place when it's kind of not in use. But um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's dangerous. Know. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah. Um, but very cool that it's, 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 it's reacting to the wind. Well, this is of course not the full test. I think if we'd done a full test, this would be loaded with about 24 containers. Oh god, yeah, kind of adding to the weight to it as well. But uh, maybe next video. Yeah, I think so. I want to test this too. So I want the person who made the, the vehicle to do the video. <laughs> that, 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 that would be yeah, fun. I want, I want to see how they. I want them to explain what exactly, exactly how they how they how they managed to build this. Uh, it's absolutely colossal. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, okay. That's a look at some of the choice cuts from Alpha One. Uh, look at the boat, and uh, Alpha Two is very very close with us actually. But I think probably the time this video comes out, it might be might be live. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, see how these boats handle in Alpha Two, and I want to see what is coming next. And we're gonna do another one uh, after, or maybe during Alpha Two. Um, looking at what new vehicles people have made and what improvements they've made. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. Looking cool. forward to it. Uh, and thanks for watching Stormworks, guys, and we'll see you next time.